Namaste and welcome to you in the second session of Research Methodology Lecture Series. I'm Khagendra Acharya. I teach English language, literature, and communication skills at Kathmandu University. This video is prepared as an initiative of Kathmandu University to provide reading material online to students. This second session focuses on the process part of literature review. In the process part, I have included five prerequisites. Focused resource topic, predefined purpose of the source, proper source engine, suitable reference management software, and appropriate source strategy. I'll try to clarify the concept of focused resource topic with reference to three research titles. The first comes from medical science. The title comprises two terms, physical activity and diabetes. Though the title does not really explicit, the scholars have defined the terms. For them, physical activity is any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that results in energy expenditure above resting levels. This term broadly encompasses exercise, sport and physical activities done as a part of daily living, occupation, leisure and active transport. This definition makes the title clear. The second title comes from social psychology. The title reads Community Identity and Collective Efficacy, a Social Cure for Traumatic Stress in Post Earthquake Nepal. The title is made focused by defining four key terms Community Identity, Collective Efficacy, Social Cure, and Traumatic Stress. The location studied in this research is Nepal and the time of study is post earthquake. With these two terms, the topic reads focused. The third title is from Biotechnology, an ethnobotanical study of medicinal plants used by ethnic people in Parbat district of western Nepal. To make this topic focused, the scholars have defined three key terms ethnobotanical study, medicinal plants, and ethnic people. The research scope is well defined with the term Parvat district in western Nepal. From this term, we know that this research is carried out in particular geography. The second prerequisite is having predefined purpose of search. Broadly speaking, there are two major reasons for doing literature review writing stand-alone articles. A number of stand-alone articles can be published from literature review. Some of them include narrative review, scoping review, systematic review, and meta-analysis. Let me show you the title of these four types of stand-alone articles. The title of narrative review reads, Personal Protective Equipment During the Coronavirus Disease COVID-2019 pandemic. The title of a scoping review is Nursing Work Environment and Patient Outcomes in Hospital Context, Scoping Review. The title of systematic review reads Epidemiology of Traumatic Spinal Cord Injury in Asia, a systematic review. The title of meta-analysis reads Storm Water Control Impacts on Runoff Volume and Peak Flow a meta-analysis of watershed modeling studies. If we are doing literature review to write any of these types of standalone articles, our approach will be different. The next purpose of charts is writing a part of research work. I'll provide you two examples here. The first example is from research article and the second example is from PhD dissertation. The extract I'm going to present shows the use of literature review in research article. Theoretical propositions as well as increasing body of research have outlined multiple causations while explaining underlying factors of armed conflict. These explanatory factors seem to acknowledge the agency of three major actors, structural factors, rebellious groups, and individuals. Scholars who find the role of structural factors prominent point to the gap between quotation mark, 
expected an actual access to prosperity and power, quotation close, reference number one, as a major source of people's effective engagement. This understanding has been assorted by a substantial body of empirical work with its claim of economic reasons, reference number two, as a perennial cause. The next extract is from PhD dissertation. This review provides a summary of the literature concerning psychological impact of road traffic accidents, RTAs. In section one, I shall give a brief description of what is meant by psychological trauma and accidental killing. If you compare literature review section of standalone article and a part of research work, you'll find a number of differences. This clearly speaks to the fact that the purpose of SARS determines the approach that we use during literature SARS. The third prerequisite is suitability of SARS engine. Basically, we have two types of SARS engines, general wave SARS and database. The use of general wave SARS engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, among others, will not be useful during literature review. Rather, we have to do database search. I name some of the database used by scholars. PubMed, IRIP, ProQuest, Web of Science, ARXIB, which is pronounced as Archive. The database are field-specific, discipline-specific, and subject-specific. Database like PubMed, Web of Science, ProQuest, are used by scholars from science, whereas IRIP is appropriate for scholars from education. You have to decide which database is appropriate for your subject, your discipline, and the topic on which you are working. The fourth prerequisite is reference management software. There are numerous reference management software. Softwares like RefWorks and Notes are not freely available whereas Mendeley and Jotero are free up to certain capacity. The softwares like Javref and Dossier are completely free. You can select reference management software based on their availability and user friendliness. The fifth prerequisite is appropriate source strategy. If you fail to use appropriate source strategy, you will end up finding thousands of articles and thus, you won't be able to manage them. I'll try to clarify appropriate search strategy with reference to two database search. When I search IRIP default database with the key term student perception, it showed 58,985 articles. It is substantially large number of articles. To find the only relevant articles for my search, I went to advanced database page. I checked peer-reviewed only option and used the descriptor undergraduate student. This search reduced the number of articles to 3,812. The third source was with student perception inside quotation mark, checking of peer-reviewed only and the selection of undergraduate student is descriptor. This yielded 1,600 articles only. I'll show you a few other aspects of appropriate search strategy with reference to PubMed search. When I visited default database page of PubMed and search with the term diabetes, it showed 761,786 results, quite unmanageable number of articles. I went to advanced database page. Second hit to the database with the term diabetes and maize major topic, the number of articles that appeared reduced to 345,860, almost half the number of previous sorts. The third sorts with diabetes, exercise, combined with Boolean operator A and D and the selection of full text 
plus last 10 years reduce the result to 15,094. This time I use Boolean operator. Boolean operators are the terms like and, not, which are used to refine our sorts. With the use of Boolean operators and quotation mark, the sorts result reduced to 15,094. I'm sure you understood the importance of appropriate sorts strategy. To summarize today's session, I discussed five components as prerequisites for literature review. If you start with these five prerequisites, you'll find writing literature review easier. In the next session, I'll focus on writing literature review, the product part. Thank you and namaste till the next session. Hope to see you in the next session.